Hey guys, it's your own boy, the one only Great Dane. Let me make sure the audio is up and running. Make sure the audio is up and running. Okay, it seems to be good. The audio is up and running. Okay, it seems to be good. good. Yeah, I forgot I had the stream running in the background. That was probably weird. Okay, anyway, so... Essentially, this is just a vlog stream, so... We can really talk about anything. Uh, one really big thing for me personally I want to talk about is just the Brawl Stars emulator thing that's been going on recently. So, for anyone, and I want to get through it quick for anyone that's wondering, because it was especially a big deal for me, but... Essentially, I left a link in the description, so it's really easy. All you guys got to do is go to this guy's video and go to the uh, link he has here. Uh, I already said thank you in his uh, comments because the thing is, I play Brawl Stars through emulator, and recently they said there was some kind of bug that was preventing the game from running, and they said they weren't going to try to fix it because they don't support emulators, which I thought was kind of weird considering that they get a big source of income from emulator players but anyway essentially i'm pretty sure what los up is linked to is an application which is essentially the same thing except it's missing the code that causes the error so it's literally just like playing the regular game except you're not installing from the play store so the process essentially is you open up blue stacks or whatever um, emulator you play on then you uninstall Brawl Stars as it is because it's not working anyway. You go here to his channel or <laughs> in the link that I left and you go to the Hero of the Files link, you install it, and then it essentially it should just work. I don't know how you install other like outside or outside source applications other than BlueStacks. I know BlueStacks, if you just um, click on it and open it up, it'll just install automatically, so it's really easy. But if you don't know how and you're using a different emulator, I recommend searching up how to install outside source applications on whatever you're running. But it should work perfectly fine. It's been good for me, at least. I was actually really worried that um, the... Um, oh, God, what's it called? It's like... Um, what is his name? Squeak. Yeah, that's the one. Squeak lobs a <laughs> big blob that throbs into a bomb of sticky blobs would be the last um video I did because I wasn't sure if they're going to fix the emulator issue. And while Supercell themselves technically hasn't fixed the issue, um, it's it, there is a solution, at least for now. So, again, it, this is a modded application that has something changed in the source code that allows it to work, and that's why it works. So there are two theories I have as to what's going on. So... Either this really is a bug that Supercell just isn't going to go out of its way to fix, which I think is confusing, considering, again, they get a pretty good chunk of income from the players on emulators. And then there's also the side, which I think is also possible, is that they purposely made it so that you couldn't play on emulators, and I'm, I'm not sure why specifically, but I'm guessing it might have something to do with like the pro scene, where... They want it to be like a mobile players thing, but it's just not. Especially if most of the good players are on PC. And there's certainly no advantage to it. Yeah, it's been at least two weeks, I think, sans bad time. So, I, th I think the main reason they're doing this, if they are doing this, because again, it's a pretty bold assumption to assume that the dev team for Brawl Stars is going out of their way to purposely make it so you can't play an emulator. But my assumption is that if they are doing it purposely, it's so that the pro scene players and most of the majority have one device to stick on and they just can't complain about PC players at all. And again, I don't think there's any advantage to PC play because if anything, you're doing WASD and mouse, which limits your 360 movement. I'm lucky enough to have a touchscreen, so I literally just play Brawl Stars on BlueStacks like it's a giant tablet. So I am consider myself lucky in that fashion, but... Again, I'm not sure why it is. been a pretty bad week, honestly. But this is one of the things that made it pretty bad. So I guess this is pretty much just a vlog, which is why I called this stream that. So we could talk about whatever, but this is a pretty big deal for me. Glad it's fixed. This is the solution. So guys, check out Los U Pi or PA. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm guessing it's PA because Los is Spanish. So check out his channel if you want to fix it. So other things, if no one has anything else they want to talk about, or 
just questions in general. I'll probably just continue to talk about the week that I've been experiencing or what I've been doing in the last two weeks when I wasn't streaming. So, let's see. If we go back to the two weeks ago, the first stream I didn't do was because um, the Spanish project was due, and that was like this um, big project where you choose a Spanish-speaking country, and you do research on it, essentially. Some of it's in Spanish, and you, or two sources are from Spanish, and you just have to know what it is if, and the ones that you choose, or else it's going to be difficult. Then you choose some ones in English, and then you convert into a Spanish article presentation. So I think I did pretty well. I don't think it was, I think the research part was the most involved part. Actually doing the video for the project wasn't that hard, because you could just read off the work you already did. Obviously, understanding it helps a lot, because I had um, pictures that I used, and actually um, being able to point to the part of the picture I'm talking about shows that I have a better understanding of Spanish in general, so I do feel that I'm making a good amount of progress in that. There is a lot of wacky, like, Spanish verb rules, specifically, that I think are important to get into. I think I'm starting to get it, but not quite there yet, but I'll keep at it. So that was like the first second week as why I didn't stream. And then this last week is um again it's summer, so obviously for me that'd be the finals week. And I had at least two big tests for calculus and chemistry. And I think I spent like five hours at least on each for studying purposes. I did pretty decent on the chem. I don't know about the calculus yet. I I think I'm not sure when the grade is due, but I'm pretty sure I did fairly well on both, anyway. So, yeah, there's that. And then there's also the sad news that I saw after, um, after the second, not try to second, uh, final, which was for calculus. I saw the message that it said, like, um, Scott Cathwan was, like, retiring or something. I thought it was a joke at first because they always puts, like, these joke videos on the Scott Cathwan channel, but I'm pretty sure it's actually legit this time, and I've talked with Sans Fat Time a bit about it already, so I'm pretty sure that is serious. It's not... Don't panic, guys. It's not the end of FNAF yet. It's just probably not going to be the same as it was in terms of when Scott was making it, but it's not over. He's just passing it on to someone else because he's been doing it for, like, I think... I watched the video, actually. I think he said he was in his mid-30s, and now he's in his mid-40s, so he's been making FNAF stuff for, like, 10 years. And that's pretty crazy to think about since, you know, I was around during the first game release, so it's been 10 years. Pretty crazy. So there was that. I also got uh, my first um, C-19 shot, so... I got the, um, I can never remember the names of these. So they're, um, one of them was like, uh, I think it was Glucerna. No, that's not right. No, wait, I remember, I remember. There was the Moderna and the Pfizer, are the two that I know off the top of my head. So I heard the Moderna side effects make you feel a lot more sluggish. And I got the Pfizer, so I was pretty tired yesterday when I got it. Um, I'm still a little tired now, but it's not nearly as bad as it was yesterday at the end of the day. I'd say it takes about, like, a solid six hours to kick in, honestly. So, again, I don't think it was nearly as bad as what I was told about <laughs> a lot of people who experienced the Moderna one. It's probably, like, twice as bad, and those effects last for, like, solid two or three days or something. So... If you can, I'm not sure if they, like, recommend any for adults or kids, but generally the kids are getting the Pfizer, and I think that's pretty good, because I want to say they're not as capable, but it's less suffering, I guess. I don't know. But I do feel really good knowing that I'm halfway there, so. Again, been a pretty awful <laughs> feeling this week, just with finals of the shots. Uh, Scott Cathwan, Brawl Stars issue. There's also a thing I didn't even talk about yet, but, like, Fortnite changed its rendering recently, and... 
I found a way to finally get performance mode to work, and that's been okay. But, um, it's still not as good as it used to be for me, so that's a little worse. It, it's okay, mostly because I've been playing, um, creative recently, and it only seems to lag a lot more on the actual map, but somehow, literally both of the times I've played solo, the first match I've played this season, I've won. I don't know if I'm just good, or <laughs> everyone else is like a bot or something, but, you know, that's pretty nice. Um, I think that's really everything I wanted to talk about. Generally, just this week has been awful so far. It's getting better now that everything's pretty much, like, over, and it's just, um, oh, I, actually, there was one more thing. So, I also, <laughs> so, on top of all that, I got this, um, I found out that I was in, like, the wrong social studies class or something. So they switched over, and then I found out that there's this, um, home, or not homework. I guess it is, but technically summer assignment that is essentially a, it's for social studies. So the reason I was in the wrong one is that I thought AP was stood for the name of the place that we're in, because it also has the initials AP, but actually stood for advanced placement, so I chose the wrong one, because I didn't think there was an honors, which there technically isn't, but advanced placement is the honors which again is a little confusing but anyway that's sorted out but there's a general textbook assignment which is like twice as much as a normal one i think if i looked at it correctly it's like usually they're about like 10 pages of reading i think this one's like 30 or something somewhere maybe more like three times a regular and then there's also this weekly um assignment it's technically two but there's, choose a, like, domestic issue in, I guess, the United States, I think. And, and they give you a list. And then there's also the, like, worldly issue. And you're obviously supposed to choose the one you're passionate about. Because the thing is, you're supposed to do it for, like, ten weeks at least. I'm guessing it's at least one a week. And the thing that bothers me most about these assignments is it's very open-ended. So, like, I could do a page for each, or I could do a paragraph, but, and I, I have no idea what, essentially, I could always, like, email and ask what it, what he's looking for, but, again, I don't, I don't think it's that specific, and I think the th biggest thing is just putting in a decent amount of effort, so, I try to, try to get at least, like, a few paragraphs each Sunday, which is, again, what I want to talk about, is that I'm probably not going to be doing anything on Sundays, except for, like, school stuff, and just, relaxing I guess maybe some instrument practice would be nice as well to get in there and then I plan to do the Saturday streams like usual and I'm definitely not gonna try to do what I did last year which was a video every day which I did manage to accomplish but most of them were vlogs and I again talking isn't like awful or anything but it's not exactly my favorite thing to do Unless it's like an update for stuff like this for like Brawl Stars, and I know I can actually maybe help some people. Because again, this only has like 265 views, and I'm sure there's a lot more people with the issue that haven't seen anything like this. Because there's a lot of people addressing it, but not actually giving fixes. And I literally checked for this every single day. Because again, that's just how dedicated I am to trying to find a fix to it. Because I've been playing Brawl Stars since the start, and I'd hate to stop playing because of the device I have, which I think I can play show you guys i'm literally watching the stream right now but the device i have which is this tablet for playing brawl stars loads the game so bad it's awful so yeah it, it almost makes you like not even want to play I, th I literally played and this was funny i hope i hope hidden master sees this because i was playing as mortis on the solo showdown map I lost about 50 trophies yesterday <laughs> because, again, it just loads awful, and I only got it fixed this morning. But for some for some reason, I was just randomly playing a solo showdown match, and Hidden Master just happened to be there. And obviously, we didn't like necessarily like spin to win team or anything, but we didn't kill each other. <laughs> and there's this, like, this random Daryl or something, and I just randomly tried to like run into him so he could win. And I died horribly, so he just shoved the thumbs down, but I just thought that was funny to him bring up because again what are the odds that i just randomly get in a game with him also hidden master is really cool by the way he also makes brawl stars content i recommend checking him out subscribing if you like what you see subscribing to los upa if he helped you and now i think i've talked about 
literally everything. So, I'm not sure if I should turn this into a game stream, because I'm already streaming. I could just start playing a game, but uh, I'm not sure. Does anyone want to talk about anything in the comments? Because, again, since this is a vlog, we can talk about literally anything. I'm always surprised that I can actually get the stream up to 720p. I suppose I could do a quick overview of his video. I know that some people like actually actually hearing the directions I want to do. <laughs> yeah, so essentially this video just goes over the fact that you don't want to install the actual Brawl Stars right now. So, um, I didn't talk about but the other option, if they're um, not purposely doing this to make it so you can't play on emulator, is that um, they, they did have the issue, um, I'm trying to remember, hang on, maybe if I watch this again I'll remember, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why, I forgot immediately what I was going to say, I don't think there's any important topic for now, you're not really Sans, it's really just like, small talk at this point so oh i remember now so i saw it in someone's video because again i watched a lot of videos on how to fix this and this is the only one that actually had a decent thing of my understanding of just changing the code in the game to actually get it to work but essentially if they if supercell is trying to fix this they're rolling it out like country by country to, uh, to update in the google play store so it is possible that a, like a fan of Brawl Stars didn't themselves go and like hack the APK so that it would work. It's also possible that this is like um a Canadian Google Play file or something, and someone's just redistributing it faster so that everyone can use it. I I feel like that's less likely, honestly, but it is possible, I guess. So that's the second option. But again, I still feel like Supercell is doing this on purpose. I just don't know why. Again, I'm guessing it's the pro scene but I don't know. So, uh, since bedtime, since you're really the only one here, <laughs> I guess, is there anything you wanted to ask me? Because this is a great time. Again, I can't promise I'll answer because there are some things I'm not ready to talk about. There is there is one big question a lot of people have asked me, and I still haven't answered yet, but I will eventually. Um... Yeah, so the two options here are either I end the stream early or, well, I, I guess I, what I wanted to do and I didn't get to do is I asked people if they wanted a quick, like, review of the new Daryl skin in Brawl Stars. I guess I can even show you guys that I got it working again. So this isn't the official app. I don't know if it still supports the controller version. I'm assuming it does. I don't even know why you would play Brawl Stars on controller. It just seems so silly. It's an option. I just don't know why you would. I feel like while controller does have the 360 movement, I have no idea why you would want to shoot with like the other stick because again there is 360 movement i just feel like it's harder to do because it's not as forward as um when you're just using your thumb to aim in a direction i feel like i just didn't have much success with controller that's really all i can say yeah so this takes like a hot minute to load up it'll probably take a little longer since i'm actually streaming right now because the our upload isn't that great and also um I switched encoders, so that's going to make it lag just a slight bit more. Again, since you saw the videos, it's not too bad, but it's not amazing either. So for you, those of you that don't know, um, I guess it actually is a good thing I'm doing this, because there's also a free pin you can get, but you have to know that it, how to get it. So there's the Daryl skin. I don't know if you can actually still get it, because I think it was only in shop for like a day, but... I'll do a quick review for those of you that maybe got it but never even used it for some reason. Oh yeah, it has controller support still. So as you can see, I got the application straight from the link that I showed you. You'll see it'll actually work, which is quite astonishing. 
Because the issue's been going on for like a straight two days now. And again, the only way I've been able to play was on my tablet, and that was not pleasurable. Something I found interesting too is that the settings save between devices, because I turned off the music on my tablet just because even that was lagging. And it saved over to when I opened up the game on Bluestacks. I just thought that was interesting. Summer dinosaurs. <laughs> Summer mortis is gonna be dope. Probably not gonna get the skin if it costs gems, though. I forget what skin is in the Brawl Pass. They already, I already even watched the video. I just don't remember. I'm it's so the new, overpowered about it, this. It's the new dinosaurs, um, brawler, and I, I literally just don't remember what skin it was. <laughs> but anyway, um, so. Where is Beryl Daryl? Daryl's... Isn't he like a rare? Yeah. Oh, super rare. My bad. <laughs> so this is Mega Box Daryl. So this is for the China one year anniversary, which I did make a video on. And I said this would be coming out in like five days. And it was about five days. So, And I, again, that wasn't from me. That was someone else told me it'd be about five days. How he knew is beyond me. So, don't be discouraged by the fact that it looks like Daryl has a super thick hitbox with this skin, because regardless of the actual model, the hitbox is always the same. So, I do feel like this one looks a bit more cumbersome, but it still plays the same. So, um, I feel like his head almost glitches out a little inside of the box, especially after, like, rolling. <laughs> Kind of funny. It might also be the fact that, um, if you guys don't know, essentially, whenever there's an enemy brawler nearby, the head of the character you're playing will turn towards that brawler, which is kind of cool. But I, th I think maybe it's just the fact that if I roll into this group of people, <laughs> it kind of has a hard time deciding which one to look at. <laughs> it kind of looks like it's glitching out. So it might just be the way the models are programmed yeah that looks like it is okay so this one fires looks like normal shots i was kind of expecting it to do something like um if you guys remember that loaded rico skin which is the ricochet skin but it has like a crown on and it shoots gems i was kind of expecting this one to, like shoot gems too yeah so it's not crazy involved it has the same voice acting it's really just a different style and i think i can show you actually i don't know if i can because i know it shows in the shop what the skins are and let me show you what i mean if i go to the shop it'll tell you exactly what the new skin offers Your best is my so it'll say like custom brawler model effects and animations so i don't even know if this one has or not this one but the daryl skin i don't know if it has custom animation but it definitely has custom brawler model. I think that might be the only thing it has, actually. And again, it's a really interesting model. I haven't got to play around with it too much, but it's definitely triggering to die to what is literally a mega box. Also, um, a huge shout out to, um, what's his name? President of the Royal Lava Clan, um, RL Buddy. He actually put my, um, like, YouTube in the description of the clan, which is really interesting. <laughs> Again, I, I doubt it's actually going to get anyone like, subscribe or anything, but it, it's really cool that he'd do that. So that is much appreciated. Uh, is there anything else? Right, uh, the pin. So I'm not actually going to do it, but um, as you guys can see for the championship challenge, if you get three wins, you can actually get this um, trophy thumbs up pin, which is very similar to the original one, which, if you don't know, they actually animated it, which is really cool. <laughs> so I actually have both, as you saw, I got six wins. So this one isn't animated yet, so I think I'm going to stick with this one for now. Okay, they didn't animate these Christmas, or I guess it's not necessarily Christmas yet. They didn't animate most of these yet. They have animated a bunch more of the pins. Um, let me see if I can find some for you, so... 
which ones weren't animated before? Was it Jesse's? I think hers were. Um, you got rocks were dynamics were. I know they added some. Oh, um, eight bit. I think. Yeah, they added they added some really cool ones for eight bit. Get ready. Uh, still not. Wow, that sucks. were. Ahoy, Daryl's were for quite a while. Pennies <laughs> weren't this update, but they were kind of recent. Drill skills, yeah! Sweet nectar! Yes! Hmm. I, I mean, I think they've, they've got a lot of them. I think the main ones they haven't focused on yet. Oh, hi, Shield Warrior. Welcome to the stream. The main ones that they haven't focused on yet are these ones. You can run, oh, no. but you can't hide. <laughs> Why do they gotta do that to me? Are you serious? Literally, I, I had no idea, but I was gonna say the ones that they didn't do are the most recent ones, which are all these chromatic skins, but it looks like they did, actually. Old Gale's gonna make it snow! Yeah, I should've known, because I actually saw a lot of Gales having animated pins. Super Surge! Did they animate all of them? Oh, one for the collection! No way. Mango Tango. Hey, hang on, I can get a look at all of these actually. Get rough. Also, if you guys didn't know, um what does this button do? Every single pin has its own voice line, which is basically how I choose them. Wowza! So this one is Wowza! Wowza. What's this one? Old Gale still got it! <laughs> oh dear. Hey! No rest for the wicked. <laughs> That's a pretty cool one. Not what you'd expect from the actual animation today. No rest for the wicked. Hey! Hey! Okay, so, interesting. You're not really feeling good today? Uh, Shield, did you get the vaccine recently as well, or just not feeling well in general? Because oh, I, was, I was feeling a bit tired today, but that's because I got the thing. Kids today. <laughs> kids today. I don't know. I just kids, feel like kids are today. Hilarious. Kids today. Uh, Old Gale still got it. <laughs> that's really interesting. So, um, if you guys don't know, they actually give you all the pins to the characters when you first get them. That this literally means that they're adding new pins because I would have had this if it was in the brawl pass. You're trying to watch to distract me, but it's not working. Oh, distract yourself from the pain. What what's going on, She Wolf? Where, where, where do you hurt? Wowza! Wowza! Old Gale's still got it! <laughs> Jeez Louise! <laughs> Kids today. Old Gale! Jeez Louise! Yeah, I think I stick with those. Um... Let's party! Let's party! Let's party. Let's party! <laughs> I think I gotta stick with the juice. Let's party! <laughs> the juice is just hilarious. Hey! Um. Somebody call for Surge? I actually really like a lot of these animations. Whoa! <laughs> Surge for the win! Hey! Let's party! Hey! Let's yeah. party! Hey! Ha <laughs> ha! Yo, dude! Hmm. Well, what game is this? Uh, yeah, this is Brawl Stars. Uh, the, so, um, she will, since you just joined a, l a little late, I guess. Essentially, um... I started the video by talking about an issue that was going on with Brawl Stars with not being able to play on emulator recently. I also did a quick vlog on like the past two weeks on why I wasn't streaming. So that that's essentially what I've done so far. You can you can go back and watch that if you want, but it's literally just like my life. So <laughs> unless you're interested in that. Um Yo dude! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's party! I just, uh... <laughs> I love how you can just spam them too. You can't spam them in game because that would be ridiculous, but um very nice. Let's party! <laughs> Let's party! Somebody call for tea! Woo! Search for the win! Hey! Is there seriously no voice line for I got the juice? Somebody call for <laughs> tea! Yo, search for the win! No way. No way. The I knew it. 
the one um pin that they have locked is probably I got the juice, isn't it? Hi Luca, welcome to the stream. Um yeah, that's that's upsetting because literally my favorite um surge um voice line is literally just I got the juice. <laughs> so Let's party! Yeah, this is actually really interesting because I thought these would be the last characters Whoa, one for the collection. that they would add the animations to. Okay, so I honestly hate the weird thing she does with her tongue, which is why I always use the secondary skin for it. Let me just show you guys if you don't know. Her original animation is her opening her book and doing something really weird with her tongue, and then she gets embarrassed about it, and very well she should be. I hate that they even implemented that into her first pin, which is what everyone has, so hopefully no one kills you and then does that. Uh, yeah, Lucas, so, um, I found a fix to the emulator problem. I went over at the start of the video, so this is on the laptop. But this is a mobile game, for those of you wondering. And I'm not, again, I'm not sure if the, um, Supercell team did it on purpose or not. I've come up with two theories. Essentially, either they're trying to get rid of the good PC players for the, um, overall look of the, um, pro teams, I guess. Or there actually is a glitch in the code that came up recently, and they're just not going to try to go out of their way to fix it, because, quote-unquote, they don't support emulators, which sort of makes sense, but it's also still disappointing. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of hate all of these. <laughs> don't touch my scrapbook. That one's decent, I guess. Best moment of my life! I still love you. <laughs> Oh god. These are all so triggering. <laughs> Don't touch my scrapbook. I just want to be friends. <laughs> hey! Best moment of my life! Scrapbook moment! That one's actually re this last one's really cool with the animation. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, Luca, so if you don't know what Brawl Stars is, it's a pretty cool game. It's made by Supercell, which is the same team that's um Clash of Clans and Clash Royale. So I don't personally enjoy Clash of Clans or Clash Royale. I used to play them both quite a bit, but they're both pretty um pay to win, I would say. This game at least I feel is a lot more skill based and you can see that in like the World Cup players. It's really cool if you've never watched it. It's pretty interesting how much thought like the teams put into their compilations of what three characters that they're gonna choose. So what this game has to offer Luca, um Oh you love Clash of Clans? You'll probably like this too then. So, they have Gem Grab, which is a 3v3 to collect the gems that pop out of the middle. First team to 10 and hold it for 15 seconds wins. They have Showdown, which is you play alone or with one partner. And you face all the other teams. And you can run around the map getting boxes or killing the other teams to get some... I believe they're called Power... Yeah, Power Cubes. I always call them, like, Lightning Cubes, because they have, like, Lightning Bolts on them. So that one's interesting. There is a problem, though, sometimes when you get to the ends, if you... Because there's also the thing that you can camp in the bushes in this game mode and just make it to second to get trophies. <laughs> but by the time, if one other team has, like, 13 cubes and you have none, they're going to be so overpowered that you might as well just, like, die in the um, fog, which is similar. This mode is the most similar to Fortnite because it has, like, a closing um, fog storm barrier thing. Yeah, actually you can do custom Zuka, which is something I really appreciate about this game. And wait, it gets even better. There's a custom map creation tool, and they keep adding more and more stuff to it every update. So let me show you how that works too. Uh, so if you go to friendly battle, you can invite anyone on your friends list. You can choose, you can choose any map in rotation and even more. So you'll see they even have the map creator over here. So you can make five draft maps, and what's really really cool is um. Let me get out of this quick. How do I get out of this? <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, You'll notice that there's a map maker section. Every time you play one of the candidates of the day, not only do you get an additional, like, ten um brawl coins. That's what I'm going to call them. I don't know if that's what they're called. So, brawl coins are what you use to open the boxes to get, like, characters, these star powers, and these gadgets, and upgrades and all that stuff. So, you get extra for playing their um map of the day stuff but there's also the winner of the day so how that works is every time you play candidate of the day at the end of the game they give you 
an option to give it a like or a dislike. And the one that gets the most likes is the winner of the day. So I imagine it's really coveted to make a map in Brawl Stars and have it be the winner of the day. I usually always just give likes because the incentive is just to play to get the free um tokens. So <laughs> there's no real reason to like or dislike unless you personally really hate the map, which is hilarious. Yeah, Luca, there's a lot you can do in this game. I haven't even gone over all the modes yet. Um, so there's unlimited time modes that come in every time, too. So there's siege mode, which is my personal favorite, where you have your siege cannon. So three teams run to the middle of the map. It's similar to the um, gem grab mode, except random bolts pop up in the middle of the map. It, there's three stages. The first stage, um, the team with the most bolts gets a robot on their side, which slowly walks over to the other side, and the other team tries to stop it. And the first team to destroy the other one's turret, or deals the most damage by the time time runs out, wins. And, um, every, I said there's three stages, but every stage is the same. But generally, um, the difference between the stages is the fact that the bolts start landing faster and faster. Am I a pro at Brawl Stars? It's funny you asked that, Luca, because literally, um, like, two hours ago, I was literally giving someone tips on how to play the game in a customs match, and I was absolutely destroying them. <laughs> because I'm just really good at the game, I guess. I wouldn't say I'm, like, a god or the Legend 27 of Brawl Stars, but I am pretty darn good. Um, I'm literally, I think, the best in my clan. Yeah, because he asked me to join. Yeah, so I'm number one in the entire clan, and he even shoved my YouTube in there, which is really cool of him. Yeah, so um, to be in this one, I don't know, if, uh, you need at least 5,500 looks like, and you need to, you, you could even stop playing for like two weeks and play like once every two weeks, you could still be in this clan, I guess. But generally, I imagine if you do play Brawl Stars, you'd be more active anyway. Uh, the most famous game mode, which I didn't even talk about, <laughs> you want me to show you? Um, well, hang on. So the thing is, I don't generally um play online games while streaming because our upload is terrible, so... I can try, but I can't promise you I'm going to do great while streaming, because first of all, it lags my game slightly, and second of all, the internet lags slightly, so it's just, it's just not good. Please excuse my alarm. I gotta go do something in a second. Okay, so let me finish talking about the modes, and then I'll show you. So Brawl Ball, the most famous one, mostly because sports are famous, but um, essentially in this one, is three versus three. Go versus the bots. Yeah, the bots is the most interesting one, I think. So, um, this one is literally just like soccer. You fight the other team to get goals. Two goals wins. And then there's bounty, which is 3v3. You get a certain amount of stars on your head. Every time you kill someone, you get more stars. So it's it's essentially exactly what it sounds like. The person with the most kills is the one that's going to be the most coveted to kill because you get the most points back for it. And the team with the most stars at the end wins. And then I didn't even go over the limited time modes, which is like big game where there's one gigantic brawler in the middle. Well, maybe I should show you big game because I can't lose trophies in that one. <laughs> um, so there's one giant brawler and five small brawlers that are like regular brawlers. And they all have to defeat the big one by the end of the game. Whichever team... Either if the big brawler wins, the big brawler wins, and if the five kill him, then they win. I'll show you big game quick, actually, just to see how bad the lag is. Who should I play as? That is the question. How about, I got it. Okay, I'll scroll through here really slow, and then you tell me which one you want to see. <laughs> I'm really interested to hear what your choice is. <laughs> There's a lot of interesting choices. I have every brawler in the game except for the new one, which hasn't even been released yet, so. Pick your favorite. <laughs> Ooh, Carl's really triggering. So Carl is like a mining excavation robot, that, but is also a nerd. <laughs> so I have like the Road Rage Carl style, which I think is hilarious. I also have Dark Tide Carl. Uh, do you want me to play as regular Carl, Road Rage Carl, or Dark Tide Carl? Both um, Dark Tide and Road Rage have their own personal um, styles. Also, if you can't tell by his sound effects, he's a very triggering character to most people. Because <laughs> he mostly just insults people. <laughs> Makes a bunch of weird noises. Okay, the first one it is. So this is the original Mining Carl. Okay. So let's see how bad the lag is. I really hope it's not too bad. I might consider doing a, um, 
I have siege, yeah, siege mode. The rocks speak to me. That's actually, it's actually pretty good. I'm experiencing a little bit of delay. I could probably play a siege mode. Okay, this crow is pretty good, not gonna lie. This cannot be. So this one crow is really overpowered compared to the rest of us. That's how um, big brother is. <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm dead. Okay, I'm not dead. I thought I was dead. <laughs> I don't know if Carl is the best um, brawler to be playing for this because he has these really good um like angled attacks that can hit around corners, but um. When I'm right up against the boss, I'm probably gonna die a lot. Okay, Luca, you're gonna love, um, you're gonna love Carl's super then. So this green thing in the bottom is called the Brawler's Gadget. His is a literal zip line that lets him fly across the map. Okay, are you ready to see his super? He literally grabs his pickaxe and spins around in a circle wildly. I have, um, a star power, which is like, an uh, added bonus. And what that does is it gives me a shield so I can take less damage while spinning. Yeah, so Carl is a very sporadic character. He's really good. Um, most of the professional teams actually choose to play Carl because of his um, zipline power, which allows him to literally just um, get all the gems and like gem grab. Why is this player just sitting here? <laughs> That's triggering. Obviously, I don't think we're going to win, but that's mostly just because some of our team is AFK. Yeah, we didn't even get him down to half health. There's no way we're winning this. Yeah, we're, we're still not gonna win. Uh, let me see if I can show you a siege map, because I think that's the most interesting. That's my uh, favorite mode as well. So Big Brawl comes out like every weekend. Yeah, huge GG's. There's no way we're winning that. And I don't recommend Carl for big game. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna scroll through again and then you tell me who you wanna see for Siege. I don't mind losing a little bit of trophies because I'm generally pretty good at gaining them back in like solo showdown anyway. Uh, did I mention there's like 47 choices? There used to be like 15 originally, so this game has came quite the way. 8-bit. Okay, that's another really interesting one. So 8-bit is like a walking refrigerator. <laughs> okay, I just got this style really recently. I don't think I've even played it once. So this is literally the um Power League skin of the season, because this season is um like Old West themed. So do you want to see 8-bit? 8-bit classic or saloon 8-bit <laughs> um so what this guy does is i don't have his other um star power but plugged in lets him move faster when he's around his super power and boosted booster um it's increases the range by 50 percent on a sharpshooter i assume you mean this by sh when you say sharp um, so he also has extra credits, which is 8 bits next attack, increases to 18, which is a lot. And then there's 8 bit instantly teleports to his damage booster. That's cheat cartridge. This is my favorite one to use because it's very unexpected, I feel like. Plus, it lets you, um, so essentially you want to fight towards the middle of the map. Cheat cartridge is really useful because if you shove it behind a wall, you can teleport back to it faster and get more bolts easier. So, um, also I wanted to say, um, 8-Bit used to have this extremely overpowered star power that, um, it was really good in Solo Showdown. It literally let him die and respawn again. And if you're not aware, when I said that, um, Solo Showdown was a lot like Fortnite, when you die once, you're just dead. But with his star power, he could die. He respawned, and he didn't just respawn, he respawned with a three-second shield, <laughs> And he could just absolutely mutilate anyone in the last, like, radius of the game. So if you didn't kill him once, he was almost always gonna win. Which is why they got rid of it for, um, plugged in, which allows him to move faster. And they even nerfed this. He used to go, like, um, 
as fast as the fastest brawlers in the game, which, again, for him, is ridiculous. But now he only goes as fast as regular brawlers. So he actually starts off really slow, and you'll see that when I play him. So this one has some really cool uh, music animations I think you'll like. He doesn't... His um original ones have, like, game arcade sound effects. This one is literally just all piano music, which I think is hilarious. So this map is... It should be pretty good for 8-bit, I suppose. Okay, so... You start off by your turret, and then you fight over the bolts in the middle. Player one, get ready. Yeah, I'm actually surprised I'm not actually lagging an incredible amount. I got this Jesse solo. Okay. Oh no, I'm gonna die on it. <laughs> 14 health. Okay, we're slightly winning right now. The first siege bot, like, you have to remember that I said that the bolts spawn a lot slower in the first stages. So the first one is never that powerful. So even though they got more bolts at the start, I think we're still gonna beat them. Oh yeah, these guys are getting wrecked. I still love you. Uh, I should use cheat cartridge. <laughs> that death sound effect though. Okay, let me show you how cheat cartridge works. Hopefully they didn't destroy my turret yet. Oh, they just did. Of course they would. Okay, so... Essentially, um, cheat cartridge literally just lets me teleport within a certain range to my um, turret though. Did I mention I shoot giant musical notes? Yeah, 8-bit eight, eight is slow as... Well, I mean, he's literally the slowest character in the game, but he hits for a lot if you can actually do it. Looks like the only decent character on this team is the Colette, which is the um, demon-looking character. <laughs> We're still not that far behind. We might be able to win if we get last siege, which is the most overpowered on the stage. I still love you. Got him. Okay, I just gotta slow down their boss quick. Okay, we actually almost. Oh wait, this was the last siege. Oh, I guess we tied for the second. I think we lost in that case actually. I might consider trying it again. But I think you get the basic gist of how it works. Here's the cartridge. Oh, darn it. I've always this far away from using it. Yeah, I think I'll give that another shot. I'm actually pretty high with this brawler, surprisingly. Six. I think the minimum of trophies for like the regular players is like 550. So I'm like 100 above that with this brawler. Which is surprising, because I don't play 8-bit that much. I think another way to think about 8-bit, or another good way at least, is if you remember Heavy from TF2, he's a lot like that. I think I'm gonna place it behind more this time. That way they can't destroy it as easily. Okay, we got the first um, robot this time. Okay, this mic is really trying to kill me. Okay, so, um, 8-Bit's really good at playing defense, but the thing is, he's so slow, it's hard for him to actually get over to the other side to attack. I, I, gosh darn it. I do love these piano sound effects, by the way. <laughs> the death sound effects are hilarious. Actually, I think I'm gonna save it. Hopefully I can get to the other side to increase our team's damage. Oh, Mike just threw out his stun ability. That one's really good. Yeah, I'm throwing down. 
think I could just barely hit from this angle. Oh, I tried to use cheap cartridge, but again, I'm just not fast enough. Yeah, so another big thing about Ape is it's really hard for him to dodge throwers' attacks. Okay, if we can defend this last one... Yeah, we gotta defend this last siege and then we can win. So again, 8-bit's really good defense, but... Oh, I think they might win, actually. Yeah, they got too far onto the turret. Um... So generally... <laughs> Generally, the thing is, I think I'll recheck for now. I'll try it again. I think the thing is, if the last um brawler robot gets over ten, <laughs> yeah, we're getting wrecked here. If the last one gets over ten, then you essentially lose no matter what. I feel like. So you never want to let the team get too many bolts. A good strategy is to always have the last amount of bolts because that works sometimes as well. 8-Bit also has a really good amount of range. Again, he's very slow and vulnerable, though. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark! Okay, I'm hoping I can kill um, these guys. Maybe not the actual big brawler, though. Turn down the turret on me. At least I stopped them from getting to our actual turret. <laughs> you wouldn't understand why the piano sounds are so funny. I'm just used to actually hearing his regular sound effects. So when I die and I just hear sad piano music, it's just not the same. <laughs> Got him. I already. <laughs> I can't do anything. Okay, yeah. They've been, they've been getting the big, like, bot a lot of the time here, and that's not good. As you can see, though, I can melt their bot in, like, two seconds with my turret and actually just shooting it at, like, dead front center. We have six bolts, so we have a really good chance here. I wish this Colt would stop following me because, um. I forget what the sniper character is called, but. Her shots um, bounce off of the characters when they stand next to each other. It's the one that kind of looks like Two-Face from Batman, except it's a woman. Oh, I killed him at least. Okay, we finally got the last seed bot. I think we can win this. Get ready. <laughs> yeah, these are the normal sound effects when I use the emotes. Instead, it's just wacky piano tunes. I think if I could just start shooting at their turret, we're gonna win. Okay. Oh no! Oh gosh darn it. Where is our it's team? Did they actually kill both of them? Gosh darn it. <laughs> Can we just talk about how his losing is literally just him aggressively punching himself? There's also an Easter egg where the back of the skin has like a Terra um Terra card, which is Terra's attack. Which is kinda of funny I guess. Terra Terra cards. Okay, if I don't win one of these No, don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna win one of these eventually. If I don't win then I'm gonna have to uninstall process. I got Well this guy's got a gold tick. If you guys don't know, that thing costs like twenty thousand coins. I think it might even be 25. You have to have a pretty big coin budget to afford the gold skin. You notice the only skins I have are um, silver skins. I'll stop after this one, though, Luca. Uh, this is also a vlog, by the way, Luca, so is there anything you wanted to ask me about? Is he gonna super? 
He's gonna super on me, isn't he? Oh, the lag is real. Did the game crash? Okay, I think we tied at the first siege. What are your plans for the summer? Um, so far, my plans for the summer are to try to stream at least every Saturday. I'll try to do other videos just because I have more time during the week. I'm not sure what though. And every Sunday, I'm not going to stream because I have this summer assignment that I need to do for at least 10 weeks. Which sounds really involved, I know, but I'm sure he's only looking for like a paragraph for like two different assignments each week. And this is for advanced social studies, which makes sense why it's more work than usual. I just barely got him. Oh, nuts. Did this shot bounce off or did it specifically hit me? I couldn't even tell. Come on, this is the last siege. We gotta get it this time. Cheat cartridge activate. Come on. <laughs> I think my team just hasn't been that great, honestly. Because they always die in the last, like, rounds. Are you doing advanced? Um, if I'm being completely honest with you, Luca, I didn't plan on doing advanced social studies. It all started in, um, let's see, when did it start? So, I started in high school in regular social studies, and the teacher told me I was, um, quote-unquote, too good for regular social studies. And she literally had me called down to the main office to, and I, no joke, like, during advisory you know how they call you down to the main office and everyone is like, ooh, who's in trouble? I mean, I knew what it was. I didn't think she was going to take it that seriously, but she literally had me called down to the main office and had me talk with my counselor to switch to the um, honors social studies. So there is no honors social studies next year. It's technically called advanced placement, which is why I got it confused at first, but I am in it now. But yeah, essentially I've just been told that I'm too good to not do it. I don't know what that means, but I'm I'm in it now. So, <laughs> and I generally do really goods with with grades anyway. Um, yeah. So, d did you want me to try a different mode? I feel like I could probably win some solo showdowns. I'm not having a lot of luck in siege. I probably should have done the candidates of the day actually. Now that I think about it, because I wouldn't lose trophies that way. It's not a big deal though. Yeah. Let me try some solo showdown. Right. You have to finish some homework. Uh, how are you almost on summer vacation, Luca? Because I just finished yesterday. I'm done with everything school except for the summer assignment. So it's two assignments for ten weeks, and then a general textbook assignment, like thirty pages. The scale's gonna blow me away. Yeah, there it is. The scale wants to tussle. <laughs> he just got Daryl. That was actually really lucky for me. I think I could just sit in the middle and get at least like second place. Okay, Luki, you got three more days to stretch out then. You got this, man. So you're on finals week too then, right? If so, good luck with your tests. Somebody call for surge. <laughs> surge doesn't have range to hit me. He better not super, he'll be sorry. Somebody call for surge. Yes, surge. He wants to get some shots on me, but he just doesn't have the range. Yeah, he really shouldn't have done that. 
Oh no. I was gonna I was gonna transport because I knew Daryl was gonna go for the kill there. Um so for those of you that don't know, and essentially to quote unquote win solo showdown, you only need to make about fourth place even in the higher leagues. So I got about four trophies there. If you get first place you get ten. I think second is eight and third is six. And if you get fifth you lose like one trophy or something. So obviously you don't want to make tenth is the biggest thing about Solar Showdown and you lose a lot of trophies. So I'll probably just play this a little bit until I get to um six fifty again. <laughs> Hopefully I can get one first place. I'm I'm a little laggy, I don't want to blame that too much because it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. You have to use your super to kill me though. The interesting thing about Colette is that actually I thought it was minus ten, that wasn't so bad. Minus eight. I don't think they have any mode where you can just lose ten trophies instantly. So the interesting thing about Colette is she does a lot of damage with her first few hits, but then she does less the more hits she does. I had to kill the Jessie right away, because her, um, bounce shot would have killed me if I stayed there. You have to finish a video. The project that for, would I say to myself four years ago? Well, <laughs> that's funny, because I actually had an ELA thing with this, like, what would you tell yourself, um, your past self, um, I think it was 30 years from now? <laughs> Okay, that bee was really close to killing me. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. How can I not hit that? <laughs> Why would she push that? She was so obviously going to die. This guy's definitely gonna try to shoot at me. Yeah, um, his super is literally throwing a vial of toxin, so if you remember what I said about um, Apit not being able to escape from throwers, I was very dead there. He just moves so slow. <laughs> He's very powerful at um, close range, but he just does not move fast, and it's his biggest weakness. <laughs> He destroys boxes pretty fast too, which is nice. Most brawlers take like five of their um, hits to actually destroy boxes. So. Get right. Mine. Why is he just sitting there? That, I know that's a real player. Why is he just sitting there? <laughs> That, that was um the Leon character, which weirdly enough can actually create fake copies of himself, but I could tell that wasn't a fake copy because the fake one always runs towards players. Peace, bro? Oh, you gotta go? Oh, well, have a good day, Luca. I think you already left, but have a good day anyway. I'm gonna get a few wins, hopefully, and I'll probably end off the stream. I don't expect to do too much today, but I might do more later in the week, because again, I have more times to stream. I'll generally just like put out a stream maybe like an hour or half an hour advance depending on how the day is going so you'll know whether or not I'm gonna stream so just make sure to hit the notification bell because again I don't even know what schedule I'm going for except for not Sundays and I am doing it on Saturdays that's all I know another interesting strategy is I can throw my turret onto this jump pad and I can launch with it it's not generally the best idea since when while you're launching, there's nothing you can actually do. Oh, he, he's dead. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think I was gonna kill him like that. Um, okay, let, let's let me just show you just just because. Weirdly enough, that Gale actually just saved me by blowing me out of the range of his rocket attack. <laughs> I win by default. 
Yeah, so actually, if both brawlers kill themselves, either in the storm or while fighting, you can actually just win by default, which is pretty funny. Okay. Yeah, so I think I'm going to maybe end once I hit 650 with this brawler, unless anyone else has anything else they want to say. Or any questions on, like, Brawl Stars or the emulator issue. I might even get some comments afterwards. I'll see if I can't answer them if you're watching in the future for some reason. Ouch. <laughs> oh god, they're teaming. <laughs> I really hope they're not teaming. Uh, for those of you that don't know, um, the Edgar character is really powerful because he can really just jump around. Why am I getting targeted by Crow? <laughs> I'm gonna die. Okay. Both of those characters have poison abilities, so I was very dead. This is probably the second angriest character losing animation. I think the angriest one is still the, um, I forget what it's called, but it's like the, um, World Cup Colt skin. <laughs> he literally, like, rips his mic off and throws his guns. <laughs> Well, I guess he doesn't rip it off, but he, like, uh, bends it from tearing on it so hard. I, I think it's hilarious. Why is this Nita trying to team? Uh, for those of you that don't know, every time someone tries to spin in Solar Showdown, it means they want to team with you. Which should be against the rules, but people still do it for some reason. Because, <laughs> again, if you wanted to team with someone, why wouldn't you just play Duo Showdown? Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to team, you scrab. Okay, she's teaming with the Daryl. Oh my god. I, I'm just I'm just gonna run. I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna team. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can't like find a place to hide maybe, because if there's already teamers, my chances of winning have decreased immediately. <laughs> yeah, I think I can hide up here actually. Another good strategy, which is kinda boring though, if you wanna just gain easy trophies, you can usually hide in bushes in solo showdown and just easily get like second. Sometimes people will find you and you have to fight, but it, it's a really easy way to gain trophies. I want to say that most of my trophies came from hiding. A good majority of them have, because generally when you get a new brawler to rank them up, the easiest way is to play Solo Showdown. And I'll usually do that until I hit at least 550. Because if you don't know, I made a video on the best way to get star points in Brawl Stars. And 550 is the best maximum amount you can get. There are more you can get, but the best way to maximize the amount you're getting is from 550. So as you can see, all I did was sit there. I already get eight trophies no matter what. Yeah, I'm dead, aren't I? <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> yeah, she had her super. There's no way I was going to win that. Terra's super is really overpowered. Um, wait, I want to show you something. This is the funniest thing in the world. Um, Terra's super description. Okay, you ready for this? Uh, wait, hang on, here it is. Okay, Terra conjures up a mind-boggling gravity well, <laughs> I, which I can only assume is a black hole, <laughs> but for some reason, it's, it's called super gravity, <laughs> which is, this is literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I don't know why they would just call it black hole, but it's, it's Terra conjures up a mind-boggling gravity well. <laughs> And then it gets even danker, right? So, apparently, both are star powers. There's Black Portal and Healing Shade. They both summon, like, this demon out of the black hole. So one attacks um opposing players, and the other heals players on Terra's team. So the whole thing is both terrifying and really overpowered, especially if you throw it on an entire team that's close together. You can literally suck all of them in, and it does enough damage to... You'll notice that every time you do a certain amount of damage, you'll increase your super meter, which is that circle around your super button. So if she does that, she can almost keep spamming her super because it does so much damage and it increases it where she can just keep spamming it and it just kills everyone on the opposing team. Okay, apparently I got a friend request. I have no idea why. <laughs> okay, I only need about 11 more. It shouldn't be that hard, especially if you just camp. <laughs> Generally, the best way to camp is to kill one player so that you know where the least amount of players are. If you stay in the middle, your chances of camping are pretty low. You generally want to camp like right outside the middle like you saw me doing if you want to gain trophies. 
Because as people play the game, they rotate inwards towards the center. No, please, why? No, I don't want to die. Wait, hang on. No, please, wait. No, please, hang on. No, please. I'm, I'm dead. Yeah, so the problem with going to the middle is, again, like I said, everyone rotates inward, so your chances of dying are significantly higher. So generally, you want to stay, like, not on the outside outside necessarily, but towards the middle. So let, let me let me try to camp harder, because if you go towards the middle, there are generally more boxes towards the middle to persuade you to go there, but it's generally a trap in my mind. <laughs> I just don't have the range. Oh my god. There's also a lot of interesting strategies you can do with all the brawlers. I won't talk about all of them now, but... <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> Get wrecked, VB. I stole your cube. Yeah, so I could probably just sit on the outside over here. You might want to kill this Brian. It looks like VB might try to target me for stealing your cube. <laughs> Get out of here. Just barely not hit. Oh my! God. Why is everyone over here? I'm, a cool cat. I'm gonna have to kill at least one player if I want to make it to like fifth or something. Ow! Yeah, yeah. So generally, players will wait to like third party as well. So it, it's pretty tough. Um. <laughs> Another problem there, again, and the reason you want to kill at least one brawler is because, as you can see, generally they'll, like, team up on you, and then you're just dead no matter what. But again, which is the reason why there's so many teamers in this game mode. Okay, this guy's got his star power, which is interesting. Okay, we have to play this very carefully. I have the range, but if he gets too close, he might kill me. Okay, he has a super, but I think I have him on the ropes. Um, that's I thought he had his healing, but he had his um spin attack. Yeah, I can probably go for maybe another 15-30 minutes at least. Ooh. <laughs> I almost got her. If she peeks too much, I might kill her. Is she, is she trying to... Yeah, she wasn't gonna win that. That one I knew for sure. At close range, there's no way she's gonna win. Are you gonna end the stream after you're done with Brawl Stars? Uh, it, it depends, since bedtime. It really depends. Did you have anything in mind? If you do, I might consider going into like five, maybe even. It, it really depends on what I have to do. Another interesting strategy is hiding behind your turret so that you take less damage. Because <laughs> this also has health. Well, there goes the stew. I could probably just sit here, actually. I just gotta watch out for that mortis. Yeah, so feel free to let me know what you have in mind at the same bedtime, and I will consider it. Looks like the Max and the Primo are teaming, which is kind of worrying. Okay, it looks like three people are teaming, which is extremely worrying. Looks like the Stew might try to kill me. 
are they doing, man? Why? <laughs> Yeah, you, you can see that there's like a teeming epidemic in Solo Showdown, especially at the higher levels. There's this one famous game, or sorry, one fan game. I want you to try since you finish the game. Um, okay, well, I'll, I'll consider it. Uh, feel free to tell me what it is, Sans Bad Time. If I do go to install it now, it's literally because I'll be streaming, it's, you know. I'll literally just be sitting here waiting for it to install. We could talk about other stuff in the meantime, though, I guess. I obviously can't install it while doing this because I'm already lagging a bit. I don't want to play like a potato because that's not good. Okay, I got distracted there for a second. Okay, that, that one I don't take too personally. Yeah, so generally I don't lose too many trophies in this, but... Again, I don't generally play 8-bit. It is a bit harder since he's a slower character. He has a different strategy than most. I find this easier if you hide more with this character. Or just third party, because he does have the range for it. Okay, yeah, I just, I don't, <laughs> I don't have the damage for this. She does a lot more damage at the start, because her attack is based on my amount of health. I have to bench out because you're just going to try to kill me. I was hoping I could make it to the portal, but I was probably going to die. Anyway. After you're done with Brawl Stars, you'll send the link. Okay, I'll open up Discord then. Yeah, so I don't imagine this will take more than 30 minutes. <laughs> he shoved his shield and I still killed him immediately. That was kind of sad. And it looked like he was trying to team with me there, but um, he turned on me immediately and still died. Very sad for him. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty much generally just gonna go for like second place, I feel like. Okay, I just got the link, Sans. So, um, can you give me, um, maybe like a brief description of what this one is? Is it like FNAF based, or is it based on another, um, like genre, like, um, I know there's some weird, like, Mickey Mouse horror games, <laughs> like that kind of stuff, like different, um, I, I don't know how to describe it, like different bases, sort of. Like different fan bases, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Yeah, so I am noticing a. S I think the big issue here is that I have a slight delay between actually pointing where I want to shoot and actually shooting. Which isn't as evident, I guess. It's like a 0.2 second delay. Maybe you guys can notice it, but maybe not. The animatronics are from Sister Location. Nightmare. So this is probably like a spooky game. This <laughs> is extra spooky anyway. Because I guess all FNAF games are supposed to be spooky, but... Let's go get them, boys. Okay, there's a chance I could win this, but it's very low. He's obviously messing with me here. He's gonna jump on me regardless. There's no way I kill him straight up. Okay, my best chance is using the portal mechanic. <laughs> no way I got him. I tricked him. I only need two wins to actually get to 650. It seems like I lost a lot, but I was losing it on, um, like, different levels. Again, the ranking in this one's a bit more complicated. You just don't want to die immediately, essentially.
You, you can win a lot faster than you can lose in this one, I feel like. If you know how to play, at least. Because if you die off the bat every time, you're going to lose a lot of trophies. This Colt has his speed power, which is extremely annoying, considering I'm already slower than every brawler. I don't think I'd be able to kill him anyway. Oh, God. Squeak. Can we just talk about how Squeak's gadget gives him more range than Piper? He's gonna super me. I know he's gonna. I would have had to kill the Colt with the Squeak if I was going to survive there. As you can see, I only lost two trophies though, because I made it till... Actually, I don't even know what... Let me look at three. Um, my stream is like two seconds behind. Yeah, six. That's not too bad. I guess fi fifth doesn't count as winning according to the challenges in the game, but um, it does give you like one trophy, which isn't too bad. Well, that was annoying. Why wouldn't this guy just shoot the box straight up anyway? What is he doing? <laughs> is, he, is he trying to hit me? Because it's never going to work. Not at that range. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what that guy was doing. What is he doing? I have no idea what that guy is doing. He's laughing. He, he's, he has no idea what he's doing. He hasn't played Brawl Stars in three years. <laughs> These crows better not team on me. Oh my, they actually, okay. If he didn't hit the other crow, they're definitely gonna try to kill me. <laughs> I feel like a lot of, um, gaining trophies and, um, solo showdown comes down to randomness. These two are obviously teaming. God. Got him so low, gosh darn it. <laughs> that was painful. I'm wondering if I used the gadget there, if I might have survived. It's just so hard because when you know they're teaming, there's just barely anything you can do. Ooh, that's rough. She got me to 71 and she still lost. Yeah, you don't want a close range 8-bit. That was a mistake on her part. She did almost get me though. This Daryl's just gonna run away. I almost got him. I don't know. Is he seriously gonna go for the, like the trampoline? What is he doing here? Why would he take like six thousand damage? <laughs> that seems like such a random play. Okay, the crow at least. Uh, he's he's gonna. Is he gonna come back? I don't know. I think I can get this Daryl, though. If he rolls on me, I have my super, too, so I can probably still get him. I'm gonna get as close as I can, so when he rolls, he rolls over me instead of onto me. Oh, I almost got him. If he, if he didn't roll it, he would have died there. I almost... I keep getting so close to killing him. Also, um, 8-bits, um... I guess they're called turrets no matter what, as long as they're not moving supers. His turret is a little, um, how was it? I want to say metronome, if I remember correctly. It's like a little metronome. When it's usually like an actual, um, game PlayStation or something. I don't know. I guess it'd technically be like the N64 or something. Especially for the classic version, but I don't remember. I'm surprised this crow isn't coming to kill me. He might not see me. Yeah, here he comes. He wasn't going to let me sit here, so... Hopefully he... Oh my god. I'm dead, aren't I? I'll just be lucky to make third, because this crow is just on me no matter what at this point. Well, I at least got some damage in, I guess. There's already another 8-bit camping in the bush waiting. Yeah, so he was using the other super power, which as you can see actually lets him move fast.
So, is this in the FNAF 4 location? Like the house then? Is it like the same map or does it have slight differences? Because it sounds interesting enough. I did play a little bit of FNAF 4 on like my tablet. Even when there wasn't like a mobile version, so that was interesting. <laughs> There's no way she's getting out of that alive. She already got too close to me, she knew she was dead. It's a different map? Okay, now that's interesting. <laughs> so, is it like a different house then? Does it also have like those, um... It's not glitch trap, it's like the small spring trap, I forget what it's called. I want to say Lil Trap, but I <laughs> sounds like a gangster rapper and that's <laughs> I know that's not what it's called. Um, yeah, so it's like the plushy spring trap or something, does it have like that extra mode in it too? Or is it like entirely different? Oh my god. Yeah, he was gonna die. Someone was gonna get him if it wasn't me. I'm just hoping to make it to second. <laughs> watching the trailer. Oh, it's oh, it's probably on um Game Jolt then, right? Yeah, I usually watch the trailers. Or at least I try to remember it too before. Should be interesting. Yeah, I could probably go for another two hours. This shouldn't take that much longer. <laughs> no way! The Leon, came, the Leon came out of nowhere. That was such a savage play. That Leon got wrecked, and he didn't even need to. He had no idea I was there. Oh, he's gonna survive, isn't he? Here, let's see what he's got. Then. He's just gonna sit there and heal, isn't he? What a troll. Face me. Yeah, this guy's playing it real careful. He wants the dub. If he sits there, he's gonna die. Uh, that's, that was actually pretty close, surprisingly. He had literally like eight more cubes than me, so I'm surprised I even got that close, honestly. Okay, I just need one more, either a win or two more seconds. Game is almost as long as Pop goes. Yeesh. And it's probably gonna be <laughs> quite a few streams then, huh? Maybe I can get for like the first few nights then, maybe? Does it have as convoluted a story as Pop goes? Like all those wacky mini games and stuff? Then it's definitely gonna take me at least a few days. Yeah, I gotta get out of the middle before people show up. That's the plan. Oh god. <laughs> the thing with the neatest stall. On 8 bit. I could have had her if she didn't already have her super, but. Because again, 8 bit is so slow, I can't even outrun the bear stun, so I was just so dead there. Because she didn't even just have the bear stun, she had the super swipe ability that makes the bear swipe twice as fast. So, I was just out of it. I thought I had that too, that was upsetting. Okay. So. You still only need about two more seconds, seconds to still get it. This is also a pretty try-hard skin, by the way, because you have to play a hundred matches of Power League to get it. Did I mention that? <laughs> And the thing about Power League matches, they take three times as long as, like, regular matches. What is this 
guy doing? Oh my god. He got so lucky on the jump there. Again, I can't outrun it. The stun there it was what let him kill me. Because I was literally like two shots away from killing him. And he stunned my attack. At least I didn't lose trophies there. Oh god, I can't get close here. Her ability allows her to shoot um, gold coins that deal a ridiculous amount of damage. If I'm gonna win, I need to destroy the boxes. Yeah, she's already hiding behind the other one. I can't. There's no way I kill her otherwise. Because she'll deal too much damage. Okay, she almost got me there too. She's not gonna be able to kill me, I won't let her. Okay, maybe using that wasn't a good idea. Yeah, that was my bad, because I forgot she can get the um, ricochet off of the uh, turret too. Maybe you could collect the coins for you. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be interesting. Okay, this guy's gonna be sorry if he doesn't back away. He doesn't have enough range to hit me all the way from over here. I mean, if he's trying to die, I'll kill him. Maybe I can transport onto him if I'm not lagging. Okay, thank you. Where'd he go? There he is. Get over here. Oh, did he kill the bee? Gosh, darn it. He killed someone. Oh, how did that not shoot? Got him. That's revenge. At least the tick isn't aiming at me, because he could kill me really easily. Throwers are definitely 8-bit's weakness. Maybe I could just hide here. Don't tell anybody. This is the secret. <laughs> this is how you win, Brawl Stars. Okay. Um, I'm assuming you mean these, like, uh, coins? I know there's, like, a limit, so maybe you meant that, but also, uh... <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> You'll notice he had a shield there, that actually is a damage return beacon. So even if I dodge that, I was still gonna die from the damage I did to him. Okay, I just need one win, one first place. I can do that. <laughs> this time, for sure. Whew, this is for all the dope money gang, <laughs> gang signs. <laughs> um... I have a lot of notifications. Sounds bad time, I apologize. I still haven't even watched those videos from yesterday you sent to me. I, I just fell asleep again, honestly. I meant to, I, I was just too tired. I still gotta see what the heck that, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, Galactus. I need to see what that weird Galactus thing is. <laughs> that sounded hilarious. Looks like I've got some good boxes. Luckily, people are staying away from me this time. Stay back. <laughs> Stay back, you heathen. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, uh, he went the other way, so I can probably just hide here and get second place. Yeah, don't worry. I, I plan to watch him later today since bad time. Maybe probably later tonight, because I think I'll be doing something later tonight. There's also the Kevin Smack stream, so regardless, I'll just be busy tonight. For those of you that don't know, um, Kevin Smack is a Fortnite streamer, and I generally participate in his streams. He does uh, he does a lot of other content, actually, too. He makes a living off of YouTube, which is, like, what he dreamed or aspired to be, I guess. Not necessarily as a kid, but he just hated his day job, and it's really cool that he was able to do that, so... 
you care to support him, check him out. It's Kevin Smack on YouTube. Really easy to find. He has a pretty decently popular channel. Pretty uh, significantly more popular than mine, anyway. Um, I got the heel circle. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> I tried to transport, but it wasn't gonna happen. Okay, if I can... I just need to make third. If I make third this next match, I'll be done. This is literally the process, though, to getting back my trophies every time I lose them. This is literally what I do for, like, a straight 15 minutes or something. And the thing is, I usually don't lose when I do this. I am lagging a little bit, and generally I have better technique. I also usually don't play 8-bit in this. But this is generally what I do. So if you're wondering how I got the majority of my trophies, you're literally looking at it. Yeah, you better watch out. See ya! <laughs> I'll see ya at the end of my gun. <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> I was gonna let her go, but after that, there's no way I can let her go. <laughs> Prepare to die. <laughs> I'll literally chase her to the end of the map if I have to. <laughs> Feel my vengeance. Come at me, you won't. Yeah, there's no way. Don't you do it! Don't you do it! Oh, come on. Why is that- She's gonna jump on me, isn't it? It's going to, after I shoot, right? Where is this? He just got bamboozled. I don't think you want to do that, Max. This Max is really getting on my nerves. <laughs> the game makes you lose the more the longer you play. No, I swear it's skill-based dance, don't even worry about it. <laughs> yeah, this, this Max is really testing my nerves. I would have had to spam the power there. I didn't think she had that angle. Hey, hey, hey I got it. Let's go. Cool. I, I was wrong. I said third place on the fourth. Okay. Okay, I think I'm done with Brawl Stars for now. <laughs> Okay, yeah, as you can see, it's I've, I've actually gained a significant amount. I actually gained it back easier than I do most of the time. And you have to consider that some. Let me show you the ranks. 500 is where it starts. Most of the players that play somewhat regularly around 550. So anything above 600, I would consider you start to get into, like, the tryhards. Which that max was sort of tryhard. Not, not crazy tryhard. I'm surprised she waited so long to kill me, though. Uh, yeah, so... That was Brawl Stars. Hopefully anyone with the emulator issue can play it now. It's a fun game. I personally enjoy it quite a bit. Okay, on to... What, what is this game called, Sans Bad Time, exactly? You see, I know it's a FNAF fan game, but what, what is it called? I mean, I'll see the name when I pull it up, but you know. Actually, let me get a quick check on my ratings. I'm pretty sure this number represents the CPU I'm running at. 24 is pretty decent. Should go down a bit, you know, because it's closed to Brawl Stars. Let me open up Discord. And let's see. So I'm going to open it up, click on the link. Install it and then watch the wacky trailer. I hope it's as intriguing as the T-Jock trailers because that was really cool <laughs> I was just looking at a comment okay. Film <laughs> Food theorists make another video on Grubhub interesting Okay then, completed all my uh, daily Brawl Stars challenges. Is it hot where you guys are? It's getting kind of hot in here. 
might consider turning the fan on low. Here we go. Oh, I think I have heard of this one. I've never seen gameplay of it, though. Baby's Nightmare Circus. I think I, it goes to it no matter what link I click. Should pull up in a second. Yeah, just give it a second. Yes, yeah, does look a bit scarier, I suppose. Uh, it's is this um stream freezing or? It's actually fine on my end right now. I'm running at a solid four eighty p. Let me. Where did I put my? Uh... Okay, that's loading up. Okay. Baby's Nightmare Circus by Mix Loss. Interesting. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to link this in the description just because I didn't know about it. I probably will if I do dedicated streams to this next time, which again are very likely. So, again, you can just go to Game Jolt and look up uh, Baby's Nightmare Circus. It should be the one that looks like this. Oh, it's freezing temperature-wise. I thought you meant the stream was freezing. I always ask questions, and then I confuse myself. <laughs> Your legs are, like, frickin' nice. <laughs> well, um, stay toasty, I guess. You don't suppose we could trade temperatures, do you? I could use some, uh, use some cold legs right now. Kind of sweaty. <laughs> Congrats, you got Beloridol. I'm assuming this is the trailer. This looks absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me start installing it first, just so I'm not wasting too much time. There are multiple packages. Please choose the one below. Uh, Sans Bad Time, do you have any uh, input on which one to choose? I'm assuming it's the Plus Classic Mode update. So this was from three years ago, which is pretty interesting. Uh, just wait till your response. It's a difference of about 100 megabytes, so should be more content in this one. I imagine, again, this is the one you're talking about. Yeah, classic update. Okay. Baby's Nightmare Circus 2 April Fool. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if this is an actual game because he has two of them. That's interesting. So, since bad time, with um Scott Cathmon retiring, do you know if they're still going to do those um updates to the other games that we talked about? Like, uh, Five Nights Flunties 3, T-Jock remade, like that kind of stuff. I assume they are just with a different, like, team or person leading it or something. Which, again, Scott, I don't even think, has chosen who that's going to be yet, so I'm really interested to see that. Yeah, this is going to take about seven minutes. Let me play Control J. Oh. I guess it does, if I just press Control J, J, it pulls it up, I guess. Okay, anyway, so the trailer. That part is up to their decisions. Kina said that Paco is, is still ongoing. Gotcha. Let me make sure this is in... Decent quality. Okay, let's have a look. So we have a sleeping baby. <laughs> oh, that's uncomfy. This reminds me of the clown from... What's that racing game called? Lost in your mind. Reminds me of, like, the, um, Toothless. I think it was called the Toothless Clown, if you guys know what I'm talking about. From that one game, I forget what it's called though. I used to play it quite a bit. Yeah, so these are like the nightmare versions, threatened by your own creations. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god! If if you hated the <laughs> if you hated the FNAF 4 animatronics before, you're certainly going to now. They're mad. So obviously, this is <laughs> canon to the actual FNAF story because what the heck would cause this? But it should be really interesting. They know you're scared. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be really interesting. Baby's Nightmare Circus. The 
gameplay already looks really interesting. It looks like it um, features a bit of the same mechanics as the FNAF 4 game, so. Okay, yeah, this, so that was it. Uh, and you can see some of the pictures here for it. They got, looks like Nightmare Bonbon. Bon. <laughs> Wait, no, Bonbon bon was blue. I forget what this one's called. But it's the Nightmare version. Um, hmm. uh, oh, it shows the download symbol up here. Yeah, so we got another five minutes. We could keep watching the trailer again and again. Jonah Chrome has said that he might cancel One Night at Flumpy's 3 because of the Twitter drama. Oh, uh, that sucks. Well... Yeah, I mean, I, I get it, though, because it, it won't really be the same without Scott. Emil and Nick haven't said anything, but Emil is more likely to continue. Got it. Fiznom has said that FNAF Plus is still going, and it might come out very soon. Okay, so at least two, maybe three are still coming. One probably canceled. So this it's not too bad still. What was this? This thing <laughs> appeared in my dreams last night. <laughs> Did he do this animation with like one of the FNAF characters? Can I get a closer look at that? What is this? <laughs> is this like Chica or something? What what is it? It's got like the bunny tail though, but it almost looks like the Chica head. Wait, no, maybe it's the hat. Is this just like dubstep Freddy? What on earth is this? Okay. Well, glad I looked at that. Is this does Game Draw have like two separate sections? A few stickers. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea how the Game Draw like comment section works. Okay. Yeah. So there's not much more I can do than just like wait at this point. And I, I don't know how much I'm going to do. I don't even know if I'm going to change the title to involve this, honestly. I'm I'm sure I will somehow. But, or at least I'll address that I played some of it in the next stream that I do. Add Nightmare Rock? <laughs> what is Nightmare Rock? About three minutes left. It's, it's downloading decently fast, considering that I'm streaming right now. Usually does it like twice as fast, I guess, when I'm not streaming. So, uh, is there anything else you want to tell me about this one before I hop into it, Sam's Bedtime? And I'm definitely not going to stream after dinner just because of the Kevin Smack stream and just because I think we might be doing something else with the fam anyway, so. Like maybe like watch a movie or something. <laughs> Not really anything to say. Well, I, I mean, I guess I'll figure out the gameplay mechanics as I go anyway, so. it It's definitely a different location. You can tell that immediately from the trailer. <laughs> what I find interesting is this outside, like, campground thing. Because the first, the actual FNAF 4 took place in, like, a basement. This one's, like, I don't even know. It's just, like, at a campground or something. The latest tense. Oh. Maybe I can read through this uh, game soundtrack list quick. The latest tense, intense nightmare. There's a lot of tent puns here. Baby Geist. It tends to end. It tends to end too. For some reason, this is hilarious. Crumbling nightmares, crumbling dreams. March of the torture doors. March of the torture doors? Destructive nature, running in circles. Last words and good morning. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know why there's three um that just have like tent jokes in them. That's really dank. Um, may I should read the description. Time you've gotten lost in your mind. So this is canon to be like a nightmare rather than an actual event. You're trapped, unable to wake. Yeah, so maybe this is like the um crying child's nightmare or something, canon to like the FNAF 4 nightmares or something, along those lines. 
Best guess is to defend yourself in your dreadful sleep. Use your flashlight to ward off unwanted creatures. Venture to tents to explore. Find a way out. So, I'm guessing there is multiple nights, but the way they say it, it almost sounds like it's a one-night game, honestly. I don't know if it's going to be like a one-night and it has save mechanics or something. Only about ten more seconds, and we'll open it up, see what's going on. I close off Discord. And it should be done any second now. Can you guys just hear me snapping my neck? Is it that loud? Because I can hear it in my own head. Okay. Um, let me... Let me... Um, let me start this quick just so I can come back to it when I link it in the next one. Uh, let's see... Get rid of some of these tabs. I don't even need half of this stuff anymore now that the school year is over. I think I can unlink the joy of creation. I, I don't know though. Should I go back to finish off the. Uh, I don't want to do like the one mode that's like complete all the nights again, mostly just because I already did that. I'm not sure if I want to do the, like, uh, bedroom mode. I do kind of want to do the basement one, so I'm not sure. I guess maybe let me see how this game is, and then I'll decide for next time whether or not I'm just going to get rid of the Joy of Creation for now. I, I'm thinking I should move on, honestly. It's more of a mind prison than a nightmare. <laughs> a nightmare. A mind prison. Okay. I, I don't think it made um a shortcut on the desktop, so let me set that up quick. Should be in my downloads. Should load up in a second. Okie dokie. I've been talking for like a straight two hours. Throat's a little sore. Um, yeah, actually, guys, you can actually see this is the blue stacks on um, Brawl Stars APK I was talking about that I installed from the other guy's channel. Just that's proof, I guess, for you guys <laughs> that I wasn't joshing you. Well, that's a terrifying JPEG. <laughs> I guess I just open it then. I have a lot of um epic games, games that I've wanted to play too. Yes, why wouldn't I want it full screen? <laughs> okay. I don't know anyone that's want, gonna want to play a FNAF game not in full screen. This game contains images, sounds, and creepy stuff. And a few jump scares. That's expected. Press D now to erase all data. Why would I want to do that? Okay. Ah, finally. It's near completion. We have to click... Everyone will enjoy this game more than the others. I overhyped it a little, but surely this will do the trick. Now these robots are nightmare abominations. What else will make them scream? A nightmare rock? Is that, is that seriously what it was referencing? A nightmare rock? Yeah, I should get some rest. Wait, is this like the nightmare of the creator of the game? Because if so, that's kind of hilarious. It would be funny if the warning said, what is there to warn you about? It's a FNAF fan game. You know what it is? Or know what it has. Yeah, I, I would imagine so. Tomorrow will be a better day. I know I missed that line, but I saw it <laughs> on the stream feedback. Which is why it's always nice to have the stream going, because I can literally see what I missed. Where am I? You're lost in your mind. So the purple text signifies someone else is talking. What, who are you? What does that mean? <laughs> you did not listen to your heart. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't understand this. What's going on? Yeah, that's a logical reaction. Beat this game, then you get answers. Seems legit, I guess. Pretty dramatic. 
first few seconds of the game. E. Nightmare Fred Bears in this? Let's go to the prize corner because I'm too scared to start the game. <laughs> uh, of course, I haven't unlocked anything. What was I expecting? Okay, then. Let me. Is there a s I'm guessing the only setting I can really change is the um, full screen. Uh, it's sand. The purple text is from whatever is trapping you on this. That's what I expected. Uh, sans bad time. Can you confirm if my voice is loud enough for the audio in this game? I should probably turn it down a little, actually. On my end, anyway. It's gonna be the same volume for you, regardless of what I do. Okay, you think it's fine? That's good. Shoot, let me turn it up a little bit. Yeah, it's actually kind of good that you can't see the volume slider because that annoys some people, I guess. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven? There's like eleven nights? Okay, then. Circus for newbies. <laughs> that loading. <laughs> that loading animation, though. Okay, then. Interesting, interesting. Whoa, I did not mean to do that. Can I just sit here it, eternally? Is this, wait, hang on, wait, no, wait. <laughs> it's like, it's a very, very slight delay when turning. I'm guessing this is the Nightmare Rock. One of these is a Nightmare Rock for sure. Okay, guys, this is the biggest decision of the game. Do you go to orange tent or purple tent? <laughs> I don't know why this seems kind of silly. Yeah, so there's no other button to turn around. Uh, yeah, so I have to turn like quick back and forth or else it turns like all the way. So that's going to take a little bit of getting used to. It's a little janky. Oh, this is just a tutorial. Well, I'm choosing purple tent because the text was purple. Well, this animation is actually really nice. Biddy Babs tent. The bitty bads love to play, especially in the dark. Be ready, because they may cause your screen to flicker. Shine light into their eyes until they stop. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm still a little tired. Okay. So flashlight is shift, run back is click below. Okay. I didn't mean to leave yet. Maybe I could go back. Oh. Yeah, that's not what you want to see. Wait, hang on. Okay, I can't spam the light that hard. I figured as much, but that was kind of funny. This is about as fast as I can do it. Is there a point? Okay, anyway, that's that. Looks like there's no bitty babs right now. Baby's ten Circus baby doesn't feel like her old self. Always make sure to venture to her tent to see any suspicious activity. If she appears closer than normal, immediately run back. Is it still shit? Okay, it is. That is very weird description. Okay. Now what? Click the left or right to turn around. Oh, oh. Oh, this... I'm in... Like the middle of a bunch of tents. What is that? Oh, you gotta see what's in here. The rewind station. Make sure to check up on the rewind station. Press an old W to power the machine. That is connected to Ballora's stage so our music can play all night. Because I'm assuming if it doesn't, I'm gonna die. How long do I have to wind this? Can I just wind this infinitely? <laughs> Get closer than normal. What the heck is normal? <laughs> I imagine you don't want that thing near you regardless. <laughs> what if I just never let go of this? What if I just make a 12 hour stream of just me winding this music? Oh, it's not even gonna play, is it? No, now I feel like an idiot. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, it looks like you can't go down the middle regardless. Okay, Ballora's tent. Ballora loves the spotlight, so make sure to feed it to her. I don't like that. By visiting her tent every once in a while. Sit and watch to keep her from taking matters into her own. Would she steal me into her tent if I don't watch long enough? That is concerning. Okay, so I, I have to play her music and I have to come to her tent. <laughs> why? What if I press N? Okay, <laughs> that was like one of those Y N things. I don't feel like I did it. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Ah! Oh! <laughs> that sound effect. Okay, the bar is on the bottom right. Are the meters for Ballora's light and music okay? That was literally just the entire tutorial. Okay, the easy way. Well, let's hope I know what I'm doing. I probably don't. I can go about another hour and a half at most. It depends, of course, but at least 30 minutes. Do I even have to come in here? It just said that they like to play. I don't know what that means. Well, she's not closer than normal. She's not even here. W. Oh, so there is no actual music that plays then? I can hear something that doesn't sound good. Okay, so the music plays in her tent, but not at the actual wine station, which is kind of weird. What do I do about that? <laughs> what do I do? Is that just how that is? I don't know. Let me check Biddy Babs when the lights are flickering. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess that's just how that is then. It looks like she lasts quite a while actually. Who's flickering the lights? <laughs> just insert Spongebob reference. Does I have to actually hold down W? That's interesting. Nosferatu. <laughs> if I enter and they're not flickering, will they kill me? What the heck? Did I kill it? I don't like what I'm hearing. <laughs> leave! Leave! <laughs> closer than normal! Closer than normal! <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a little too close. <laughs> yeah, so she almost lasts like a full two hours on a full watch. This is like the first night, so this can't be that hard, right? This lasts like one hour, so this needs like more frequent checking, I feel like. The lights aren't flickering, but I'm checking on them anyway. It, it seems like they're generally good to check on them regardless, but I don't know. Yeah, so it generally seems as long as I move around all the tents. Oh, oh they're flickering a lot. Um, yeah, I definitely wouldn't have known to do that unless you told me. I'm guessing that sound means I need to check on her? Her baby? I might be wrong, but I don't know. Oh. Oh, 
maybe she was getting mad. Maybe that's what that means. Yeah, cause she looks like she's just about to strike or something. Who's flickering the lights? Nosferatu. I'm sorry, I can't just not make that reference every time that happens. I should, yeah, okay, I can't say, I should at least go and complete this, that, that wasn't so bad. Also, just so you understand, oh god, why? <laughs> just understand the night system. On the left, there's the tutorial, and five nights. On the right, there's three mini games and two final bosses. What the heck are final bosses? <laughs> the, oh my god, is everything in this game just a meme? <laughs> The, the easy way, the medium way, probably like the hard way, the difficult way, and the extremely difficult way. Is that seriously just like how this is named? Mini Rena Rules? So the question is, should I move on to Mini Rena Rules or the medium way? Because obviously the medium way has got to just be like a harder version of the easy way, so. I, I guess I'll do the medium way unless Sans Bad Time has anything to say about it. <laughs> You you want me to do mini arena rules? Okay. I have no idea what this is. Mini arena's game. Mini arena will appear in one of the three tents. And begin to get closer. Catch her with your flashlight and do one of the following <laughs> procedures. Oh, good, a list. If she's on the left, keep your light off. If she's on the right, hold your light on. If she's in the middle, flash the light. Flash the light. Wow. Okay. Okay. Left off, right on, okay. Do not use the light if she's not there. How do I know if she's there? Does she laugh or something? Okay. Whoa, what, what? Wait, hang on. She's in the left turn. But, what? <laughs> I can't turn around. How do I know what I'm doing? On the left, off, on the right, on, in the middle. Spam it, I guess. Mm. That's... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay. Well, does it seem... Wait. Okay, it it said to spam it. I was gonna get mad if I died there, because that's what it said to do. Okay. Yeah, this isn't so bad, I guess. If you don't do it in time, they will get a little bit closer. Oh, okay. What do you mean they? You mean there's more than one? Well, I guess that would make sense. I did say to keep the light off when she's not there, so... Um, oh. That was on the left. <laughs> so... Okay. Oh, I gotta keep the light on. Do they really like jank up my light? I don't have a gender? <laughs> don't mess with me, man. Oh, oh god. I know they don't have genders, but I'm gonna refer to them with genders anyway because I don't know. <laughs> This actually isn't that bad. Oh, 
Oh God, I gotta keep it off. Okay. Did I win? I think I got it. Okay, thanks. Thanks, guys. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> yeah, that was so bad. It was kind of fun. Got the golden mini arena. <laughs> mini arena. Well, I don't. What else do you want me to say? I don't know, Sans. T tell me. T tell me mini arena's gender. That's what I want you to say. <laughs> Uh, okay, should I go to, should I go, okay, you answered me immediately, so that's convenient. I was gonna say medium or bonbon bon rules, so. Yeah, that one was really easy, you just have to remember what each one is. Okay. This is probably the last place I should go. Yeah, because it always seems like the lights are gonna flicker some other time anyway. I should probably go to Ballora first, right? I don't know why I'm going here. I should probably wind up the music box, actually. Why can I only see the bar when the light's on? How does that make sense? Uh-oh. I gotta go. I gotta go. How much time do I have? That's what I want to know. How much time until they just kill me anyway? I don't- is there a reason to go into babies? What is the point of going in the base? The base is closer than normal, and you walk away fast, you'll stay there, and you have to do it twice? What the, it, why? <laughs> I, I just don't want to. Quote unquote, closer than normal. <laughs> why are there birds here? Isn't this a nightmare paradise? Seems like the lights are gonna flash regardless of what I do, so... If I just leave the lights on, they can't really do anything, right? I appreciate that this game actually has you use both hands. <laughs> you have outside the house. For some reason I can still hear it inside my own mind. It's, it's like some kind of owl or something, I don't know. I'm guessing if she gets too close to normal, I just die immediately. <laughs> I guess I should go back in there just to see. Okay, we're good. I'm hearing some bad sounds, but my lights aren't flickering yet, so. doesn't seem like I have to go to this one at all unless the lights are flickering. That is extremely useful knowledge. Okay, always check twice if she shows up closer. Good to know. Ooh, I'm 
lagging. Uh, I'm lagging. Ooh, that's good. Oh, you were right. You were very right. Should I check a third time? You know, just for kicks and giggles. <laughs> okay, uh, yes, always check twice, gotcha. I highly doubt she would show up a third time, because if she does, that's kind of ridiculous. Hey! Happy birthday! <laughs> this is a stink. I got the Ballora doll. Is there a point to these weird, like, dolls I'm getting? Don't do the hard way, is that we? Oh, not a third time. Okay, don't check a third time. So should I do the hard, <laughs> the hard way or bonbon rules? I don't imagine this could get that much harder, right? Because it's hard, probably really hard, <laughs> extreme, or something. Bonbon rules. Okay, Bonbon's game. Bonbon has a different rules than the mini arena. So this is very similar. If he's on the left, Hold the light on. If he's on the right, flash the light. And if he's in the middle, keep the light off. Okay. Left on, right flash, middle off. It's literally the same thing, I just gotta memorize something different. Okay, let me just... On... On the right... Flash it. So it's on, off, flash. Okay, I'm going in order from left to right, so it's on, off, flash. I'll, I'll just keep saying that in my head. On, off, flash. I hear something. It's, it's not good. Yeah, on, off, flash, there we go. <laughs> Makes sense, bad time. Off, yeah, okay. I wish I knew how long to keep it off for. Oh god, I got worried for a second there, it wasn't letting me turn it back on. Okay. Oh god, I got a flash, I got a flash. Okay, they don't give you a lot of time to react then, do you? You really have to know what you're doing. Okay. You only get like one chance. Oh, good. Okay, just go away. Just go away. Okay. I haven't even had a single one on the left yet. Okay, there we go. Right, flash. Okay, there we go. Okay. Almost there. Should be. Okay, I think I got it. 
Why? I was Take a toothbrush? I, how did I die? Come on, what? Am I just supposed to leave it off for the last five seconds? That's ridiculous. What is the what is the toothbrush for? Okay, let me try with my right hand this time. I feel like I might do better. <laughs> I did have it. I have no idea why I died. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to end stream after this. <laughs> I, I should be able to get it this time. I feel like on is the easiest one to do. Maybe I died because you're not supposed to have the light on until you think they're there. I just turned it on anyway. Yeah, okay, this time for sure. Okay. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I do have to end the stream now. I think I'm just about done. I've done quite a lot. I actually had a lot of fun. Thanks for uh, introducing me to this game. I think I'll keep doing this one. I, yeah, I, th I think I'm gonna move on from t -Jock. It, I think I've played enough of it anyway. Plus there's already other people that did challenges. Bonnet rules. Are these first three literally just different versions of that? Because that's kind of funny, actually. I could see you getting confused if you're trying to do them all at the same time, but... You know, if you do them all at different times, it'd be really easy. So this is Baby's Nightmare Circus. <laughs> they are, okay. Uh, so this was Baby's Nightmare Circus. Interesting. I'll probably get back to that, not tomorrow, but maybe Monday. If I am feeling up to it and everything looks good on my schedule, I'll do more of this. So, again, I'll probably shove this in the title that I at least played this game a little bit, so people know. And that's about it. Is there anything else anyone wants to say? I appreciate everyone who joined the stream and left a like. It means a lot. So again, if you enjoyed the stream and you haven't liked for some reason, make sure to leave a like. If you look forward to more streams in the future, or um, really any of my content, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, again, my um, 
uploads and streams are going to be a lot more sporadic than they were last summer. So, again, I don't know what I'm going to be doing too much. I imagine it's going to be more streams than videos anyway, but, again, as long as you have, you're subscribed you'll and have the bell on, you'll know what's up. So, not tomorrow. <laughs> One day. Whatever day you're going to do it. Yeah, whatever day I'm going to do it, but not Sundays for sure. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. It's been fun. <laughs> Thanks, Ten's Bad Time, for all the help.